death on the cross proves his love for us. Christ died for us so that we could live for him, through him, and in him. He died to set you free. I am the son of a bishop. Bishop Arthur T. Jones Sr. is my father, the most honorable man that I know. Actually, I had a desire not to be involved in ministry. If truth be told, I saw the job and I didn't like it. But the more I desired to please God, the more I desired to have a heart for God, I wanted to be found in His perfect will. And His perfect will for my life entailed me being a pastor, entailed me being involved in ministry. And now it's my passion. I don't see myself doing anything else other than serving God's people. Of course, loving my lovely wife and, and taking care of my children yes. and then serving the people in God's house. In that order, God, family, and then the church. The Spirit of God that raised Jesus from the dead lives in you. Uh oh, look at your neighbor, say, neighbor, you have resurrection power on the inside of you. The end of the road is not the end of the road unless you fail to make the turn. Don't drive your life over the cliff of unrealized potential because you fail to realize that you possess the power to change. A partner is someone who pastor can connect with. We have a stake in every initiative that the ministry does. I feel joint in with the mission. It's meant life change, it's meant advancement, promotion, elevation, empowerment. We teach from a place of love and respect. We don't get the word beaten on top of our heads. We feel embraced no matter where we are. And once you become a partner, you will feel that love magnified you will be able to do life with someone. We say it, you know, we're committed to the success of your journey, but I'm a testament that that's real. It's not just words. God rests and abides here. So the fact that he rests and abides here means that he rests and abides in my home as well. When our partners and our first time guests arrive on the premises, they are met by our parking lot of appreciation. That consists of our parking lot attendees and our security team members. And then once they exit the parking lot of appreciation, they enter into the lobby of love. They are met by our greeters and by our ushers. Once they enter into the sanctuary, they are met by the worship that satisfies our praise and worship team. They are anointed to do what they do, to usher us into the presence of God. Then we have the word that rectifies. We are going to give you biblical principles that were outlined in God's word in order for us to be effective in our walk with him. And then we extend an invitation to let everyone know that they can live their best life now. understand that God's order is to establish the foundation first. I, I know you like the walls. I know you like the pretty drapes. I know that you like the wonderful carpet, but God's order is to establish the foundation first. If you give him the first, he will establish, multiply, and sustain what remains. That's good news. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, if you give him the first, he will establish, multiply, and sustain what remains. Pastor really connected with me. Just being a down-to-earth person, I just love being here and I love where the church is going. I see his vision. I'm from the younger generation, so a lot of people my age don't do church too much, but I come here and I feel the same way every time that I don't, I don't belong nowhere else. Sometimes people inquire, like, why are you so happy? You seem to have it all together. I really don't have it all together, but I'm able to come to a place week after week that can show me and give me the practical steps to keep my life on track. So I use that to be a testimony to others. Impact Worship Center is a church that teaches you how to live right. I am honored to be a member of this church, and I would invite others to be a member as well. I knew from day one that this was the place for me and my family. It was exciting. It was fun. We were not members of our last church. We were just occasional. Now, just coming to this once, I'm already considered joining and becoming a member. Just come. 
I can't, I can't say anything other than that. Just come and experience it for yourself. I know it moved me, so just come and see what happens. because this is a history-making day. If you believe that, put your hands together and give God praise in the house.